Hello there friends, uh, my name is Rabbit, I use they them pronouns, and today I wanted to make a video about, basically I redecorated my room that I grew up in, and I'm back at my parents house for today, and I was like, ooh this would make a fun video, because I redecorated, so I wanted to share that with you, and um, here we go! So just like in my last video, I'll start with a quick pan of the whole room. And then we will just get into basically different areas and their details. This is the room today. Outside is beautiful. It's fall, which is my favorite season and you can see it and it's wonderful. And I'm probably gonna shut those windows um, shortly. But first let's uh, talk about my bed and my bed kind of area with this like chair thing. Um, so basically, I have this like really cool um, curtain-y thing. I found this at the dollar store as like this pink um, tool kind of, uh, I don't know what you call it, like a mosquito net. Um, and I added these like flowers to it. I already had the fluff and like this cool embroidered thing. So that's super fun. And I have a chair that has a silk purple sheet draped over it and this like fuzzy white blanket and this mermaid tail that I found in the kids section of the thrift store that I frequent. So this is a pink baby blanket with stars on it on my bed and underneath that I have a knitted blanket that I have made. Um, basically I just knitted a bunch of squares and stitched them together. And here we can see my stuffy collection, or at least some of them. This was my first ever stuffy like of my life, but um, this is my current like favorite stuffy that anyone's laughing. Um, I've got lots of bunnies and like some TYs and Moxie and Totoro. Um, this is also a knitted thing that I did. I knitted this pillow. That was a fun time. And I have this like really cute, I don't know, I think someone drew this. I found it at the thrift store. It's like an adorable kitten pillow. By my bed I have some boxes and I have a bunch of posters on my wall. Um, mostly they're cut out for magazines. I'm printed out from the internet. Um, these are some Polaroids of me and my boyfriend right here. And um, this is like a mood board that I made um, in 2018 when I was doing some makeup school. <laughs> um, this thing here I made for when I was doing like fairs. And I've got some like watercolor planets. And lots so I have lots of different posters that I printed out from Rookie, or not printed, Ripped out from Rookie Magazine and Frankie Magazine and Fast Forward, which used to be a local um, publication in my town. Um, real quick, this is a display cabinet that my boyfriend got me for Christmas last year that is like Beatrix Potter. Um, it was like, you know, one of those pieces. And it's just so cute. It's so little. Like this is my hand for comparison size of it. It's adorable. And um, just put a bunch of little adorable things inside of it. I've also reorganized kind of above my shelf area since last video. Some trolls as usual and this is like a glass heart-shaped ashtray filled with crystals. And we've got some random little bits and bobs, stones and seashells from the thrift store. Picture of my boyfriend and our cat Lemon. I got a salt lamp from my parents. I've got lip balm, mints, and my zine collection here. And a couple of books. Up here we have this like really cool mermaid skeleton that was at the grocery store at Halloween last year. Some like squishy friends. More trolls. Some different kind of varietals of trolls. Uh, Lucky Cat Piggy Bank skeleton. This is um, a collaged, this little um, coffin shaped box from the thrift store. This, this little thing, that's so cute. It's like from um, a vending machine uh, from kind of Chinatown area in Vancouver. Got this mug shaped like a cat. Another um, coffin shaped box. Magic date ball. I just really like magic eight balls. <laughs> um, cute kitten mug, bunch of troll. This from my boyfriend. This is like a cool crystal sugar jar. 
in like a little baby troll <laughs> so that's fun um i have these candles that are beeswax that my roommates from first year gave to me um as a present and these are some glow-in-the-dark stars so up here i've got more articles taped up this i think i talked about it in my last video but um basically there were these gay penguins um i think they were in the san francisco or san diego zoo um they like managed to foster a baby penguin together and someone memorialized it in um embroidery art and i found it at the meow foundation thrift store for four dollars and it was the best so that's what that is and i love it uh, more posters more articles so like i have this one that's the x files it's just like a beautiful heart pancake thing this is an article about like <laughs> having facial hair as like a femme person so this is a graduation card when i graduated <laughs> high school um this is like a cool little pendant ornament and this is like a little spell sachet that i made got some of my collages here and here um some really cool photos of some people this this is wonderful this is um an art piece that my boyfriend made me he's a tattoo artist i mean he sells them he doesn't just make it for me but um i love his art style and he made it and it's great more articles from rookie meg primarily but also frankie meg um so that's this area moving a little bit to the side we've got my little ducky backpack hanging up beside my bed um this cabinet of like s uh, different herbs and spices and ingredients for witchy things <laughs> and stuff uh we've got some bowls of crystals and rocks <laughs> Moving to this shelf, starting with the top. I've got a couple of my um, stuffed animals from when I was a kiddo up there, including like this wolf or like husky looking one, a raccoon, this deer, this little guy that my dad made me, um, and two walruses. Uh, one of them is reversible, which is fun. Got this plague doctor mask that I found at the um, kind of thrift store at my school that I went to. So we've got little thing that my mom gave me that's like a perfume her perfume collection from when she was a kid and just like some fun little things up here like a salt lamp and a cool box and this picture that my boyfriend drew me of me here i have it's kind of random stuff like these boxes of candy and um boxes that i've collaged and put stickers on and things of that nature down here we've got my like a lot of stuff. Okay, we've got some rocks in boxes. We've got some moss in a jar. We've got like an assortment of shiny materials in a little thingy. More agates and rocks. Okay, so this shelf here is my pride and joy. And basically none of it was here last time I filmed because I only got into Monster High recently and I only found out about doll repainting and started um, this summer which you can check out some of my videos about that if you'd like. These aren't all my repainted dolls, but it's some of them. So uh, basically I have just been scouring like the Facebook marketplace and stuff for dolls and, you know, furniture and stuff, which is what you see here. Uh, we got like the coffin bean and like um, this big castle and this other like kind of pull out dollhouse and Frankie's charging station, a bunch of Draculaura's furniture. Um, but in terms of my dolls that I've made, uh, we've got Dove, who's like an angel, uh, Scylla and Astrid, who are a demon and an angel, kind of conjoined twin serpent woman kind of doll. We've got Artemis, who's a non-binary elf, Lilith, who's a goth. We have um, Piper, who's like my little strawberry, strawberry pal. Um, this is Stella. She's the first doll I ever made. <laughs> This is Juliet, and she's trans, and I love her. And this is Alice, she's a bunny girl. And we've got our really cute lesbian couple, and is Lily and Ivy, they like match. And we've got our like mushroom gals, uh, Amanita and Fern. So under them we've got kind of some vintage dollhouse furniture, bones in the back there, some more troll dolls, and just kind of thrifted little fun things, My Little Ponies, trolls, more trolls, and more trolls. 
and also like a winx or a witch pin and some little peekaboos. Here is a mushroom shelf. I just put a bunch of mushroom themed stuff down here. Um, I would burn that little piece of wood and made this little clay like mushroom house thing. I'm sorry, it fell over. There you go. Um, just like some cool little things, little owl, little jars, little tiny pieces of jewelry. My mom or my grandma painted that cat, and I got my little gnome family. Also made that clay jar with the dragon on it. Uh, that's a reishi mushroom. My Peter Rabbit and Beatrix Potter stuff. Not all of it is Peter Rabbit. Some of it is just rabbits in general. But like a bunch of dishware and boxes, a bunch of plushies, some Peter Rabbit books, dishware, um, you know, book. Here's a really cute little art piece, tin, some mugs, more rabbits. <laughs> um, that's what's there. Next to um, this shelf, we have this book from my childhood that like meant so much to me. Just want to show you guys real quick. Like a little bit of the art from it because it's so beautiful. Um, hold on. Like, look at this. It's in Italian because um, my family is Italian and I like speak it and stuff. But it's just like, dude, like these cute little these cute little guys and it's just like so detailed and so creative um it's called La Mia Valle it's by I don't know that guy <laughs> if you want to look it up for yourself but it's wonderful um next to it I have these more posters and articles um this is a beautiful um art piece that my boyfriend also made me the fox um, up here we have more wall stuff, um, including just like a bunch of posters. Most of them are from Murky Mag. Got a flower crown on my mirror. Ah, hi, that's me. Sorry that like the light keeps glaring, but um, that's what's. That's what's happening, so I'm using this little ring light. Um, above my, or er, over my bathroom door, I have like this piece of cloth with some stars that I strung up over it. This is my mushroom inspiration board that I made for one of my mushroom costumes that I made for my thesis at university. This puzzle glows in the dark. I love puzzles, I love making them. I got some bags hanging up and some fairy wings that I made. Some more fairy wings that I made, some dragon wings that I did not make, some butterfly wings that I did not make, demon wings and angel wings, and also some horns. This art piece, this art piece my boyfriend made, um, I love it so much. I think it's super cool. He doesn't like it very much because he thinks it's uneven and he made it a long time ago, but I think it's wonderful. Here we have more art from my boyfriend, a um, mannequin thingy for my sewing projects, a window pane with some uh, papers in it. This beautiful piece of art from my um, uh, late aunt. Um, here is some cameras and um, my bookshelf. We've got Paddington Bear, Romeo, and Aro, um, and books. And um, haven't really touched this bookshelf since I was like in high school. like <laughs> or yeah, like before I went to university. So all the books are from that period of my life if you're wondering like what are they reading? But you know, it's fine. I also have like all my journals and stuff up here and my sketchbooks. So that's what a lot of these guys are. Down here I have all the letters from my pen pals um, over the years because I've been a big pen paler. Um, and I have typewriter, jar of all my old tickets, um, this cool painting of like a gnome with a rabbit. A bunch of old art supplies, also some new art supplies and just kind of random stuff for my parents and my boyfriend. Down here I have a bunch of my makeup. Uh, lots of it is in boxes but that's what <laughs> that is. Down here I've got some like vintage toys and like My Little Pony 
um, just like little random things. Here's my record collection and some jaw bones, a turtle bone, my teeth, uh, mold, um, some teaspoons shaped like hearts, some bowls with some animal faces, you know, a little dollhouse piano. Here's some murky mags and Frankie mags, which I love to take apart for my walls. Here's a really cute little spoon and fork set. Here's a really cute little mug that matches the spoon and fork set. It's cute. Um, here, like a little mirror, um, kind of. Got my jewelry box here, just like a bunch of pins and things in it. Um, got a bunch of zines that I wrote in here, and um, I collaged this jar, which is fun. Um, also collaged this box, which I think is still really cute and holds up. I did it so long ago, but I still think it holds up. So, art for my boyfriend, art for my boyfriend, art for my boyfriend, art for my boyfriend. Flash tattoos for my boyfriend. Um, this is my sketchbook that I had. Um, I, oh wait, no, this is from high school. Ugh, this, uh, this stuff is bad. But um, it's, it's, yeah, that's what that is. Got some more art hanging on the wall, some bracelets. I got a rainbow of trolls that I set up. Some beautiful, cool articles. These my parents made. I've got some um, ugh, necklaces hanging up on my window and some big, big trolls and little trolls with rainbow hair. I've got some cute little hand creams and a big horn antler of some sort. Also, I have these really cool shoes. I don't think I showed them, but I found these at the thrift store for $9.99 and I was like, these will be used in my Rochelle Goyle cosplay. Yeah, let's see. Over here, got my like watch drawer thing that I think I mentioned in my last video that I just put a bunch of crystals and rocks and tiny things that are important to me in. Um, underneath that, I have a ice cream cat puzzle that I made in university and I love it. I think it's so cute. I put a bunch of stickers on the outside of the frame that I put it on, which is just a piece of pink construction paper. This is like a little froggy floor mat. I think they're so cute. Also on the wall here, I have like this cool tail hanging up and this necklace, or no, this belt that I made out of seashells and this cool necklace. Um, this is my makeup desk. I have my like little puffy ear pieces hanging up there and a bunch of art and posters on the wall. This is my purse I got at the Halloween store. Um, down there I have a really cool locker that says, Hands off, my hot hits, and I just think it's so cool. Here is a bathroom cabinet thingy, medicine cabinet that I painted and put a bunch of witchy things into. Um, got my sewing boxes here that I got from the thrift store and filled with sewing supplies. This is a briefcase that I painted. My altar that I think I already touched on in my last video. Um, like essential oils, candles, all my witchy things. Um, I'm gonna close the window real quick, one sec. I hope that's better for the light glare. Um, I have this cool dress hanging up that I got at the thrift store and it's like a cool princess dress and I put a nice belt on it. It's hanging up behind my hoops and I have more posters on the wall. A lot of these my boyfriend drew. Um, and made when he was in art school, and some of them are his flash um, tattoo pieces. On the ceiling, I'll show you guys, I have more mood boards from my thesis at university because I did costume design and made a bunch of DIY costumes for like queer non-binary friends of mine, and that was super cool. If you want me to upload my thesis video about that, let me know because I'd love to show you. Here's cool quilts on the wall. Um, I also have like these purple shiny like supposed to be beaded curtains but I just spread them out over a long way and put them in a cool pattern so I think that's a fun thing you can do with beaded curtains. On the desk that my dad made me I have some little boxes and trolls. This one is so cute. It has cats on it. I love cats. I work at a cat cafe. It's my favorite job. This is also has cats on it. It's amazing. Um, this is a cool 
kind of mother goose painting, more trolls, my very small knife collection, <laughs> cool little drawer thing, it's a box I collage, another box I collage, and I put all my sticky notes and stuff in. This is a really cool piece of wood I found. Look how cool that is. I love it. Got some nice, um, like, pendulum boards hanging up on my wall here. Here's just a nice little uh, jewelry box that I found at the thrift store. Owl feather that my mom gave me. Some Labradorite um, in the jar with it and lavender. Here's my dragon collection. I think we talked about them, but I still love them. And they're wonderful. I love these posters also behind them um, from Frankie. Poster or picture of me and my boyfriend from our first Halloween. <laughs> um, little bag that I put stickers on and a little Halloween candy alien thing. Little box that I collaged. Kitten mug with a bunch of art supplies in it. And of course, more posters. Down there I have a bunch of my um, knitting needles and yarn. Also above my bed there's a bunch of um, sheets that I've hung up essentially. And also like some ivy and this uh, sword that my dad made me from when I was a kid. Um, this is what my desk looks like from long view, or you know what I mean, from panoramic, uh, whatever. Uh, this is my desk. I put a big pink fuzzy blanket on the chair and I think it looks awesome. I have a bunch of art supplies down under my desk. And um, yeah, I'll show you guys real quick outside my room um, because that's where I keep my costumes and my where my closet is. So let's go out there real quick and then I'll finish the video, I promise. I know it's already really long and I'm sorry. So out here is my closet area. It's kind of a mess, I'm sorry about that. So I have my costume rack. It has all my costumes that I made from um, when I was at university doing my thesis, making DIY costumes from thrifted and recycled materials um, for my friends. It was super cool. If you guys want a video that's like talking about costumes specifically and individually and like all of that, I would be happy to film it. Just let me know if you're interested. On this side, I have my more regular clothes. This side is like my colorful clothes and my skirts and pants. And this side is my like black and gray clothes. I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it uh, that you spent all this time with me. Like that means so much. Um, if you'd like to like and subscribe, feel free. That would really help me out. And um, I hope you have a great rest of your day. I hope you and your loved ones stay safe uh, with the pandemic and take good care of yourselves and your mental health. I'm sending lots of love and a big hug. So bye for now.